Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Dynamic Flow Sculpt. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. If you want to, you can have a chair handy or something to hold on to because we will be doing some balance challenge moves. Also, if you want to intensify the workout, you can hold on to some light hand weights. We're going to get straight into it. Lots of large range of motion moves, really nice and flowing to lengthen the muscles, but also give you a nice burn. So come into a hip width position and all we're going to do is allow our body to drop like a rag doll, come up and I'll circle our arms to the back. So drop down and then circle and open the chest. So you're dropping down with a curved spine and then using almost like a momentum to come back up and circle. So when you're coming up and allowing your arms to come to the back, I want you to look up. Keep a nice long neck and there's no real art to this. You just want to really open up through the chest and hold your tummy in so that you're protecting your lower back. A few more of these, up and around. Let's do two more. Up and around, and last one. Up and around. So now coming into a nice hip width stance and then pointing through the toes and lifting our arms overhead. Trying to push our shoulders back a little bit. Up and up. And we're gonna turn this into an arm circle. Go for four, three, two, one. Now start circling. And as you circle, I want you to start opening out and actually looking towards the back. If this makes you dizzy, then just stay looking at the front like this. But if you can, I want you to really twist through the waist as you're doing this. A few more like this. Point through the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come forward and open. So it's forward and open. Curving the spine, arching the spine. And you're just crossing your arms in front, curving down. You're bouncing slightly through your knees, but keeping everything nice and loose. It's almost like a figure eight with the arms. So it's around and out, around and out. Loosening everything up for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're just gonna start widening our stance, reaching down and stretching through our inner thighs, sticking our glutes to the back wall and really pushing all the weight into the heel of that bent leg. Just sweeping, you don't have to touch all the way down. I just want you to come to a low point with your tummy pulled in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna stay on one side. We're gonna come down really low, sticking our glute to the back, stretching through the inner thigh. Then we're gonna come up and swivel our hip around and push this one to the front. Then down to the same side, straighten the leg slightly, and then push to the front. So it's really down, sticking your glute out, up and push to the front. Back down, straighten slightly, push to the front. So what I want you to focus on here is the inner thigh stretch on the down here, sticking your glute out, weight is in the heel, and then the stretch in this hip flexor as you really push to the front. Down, straighten slightly, push to the front. Down, straighten a little bit, push to the front. It's like a semicircle. Three more. Down and up. One more, and up. And now just come side to side again for a few, and we're doing that to the other side. Pick up your heels, sinking a little bit lower maybe, because you're getting warmer now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now we're coming lower here. If you can touch down, that's great. Come up with a slightly bent knee, then swivel your hips to the right and push your hip out. Come back down and to the front. Come back down 
and to the front. Down. Squeeze your glute to help you with that tuck forward. Down and up, push that hip to the front. Down and up, and push. So you're hinging slightly forward on this down, and then more upright on the push. And up, maybe put your hands on your hips so you can really feel that push forward. Down and up, and swivel around. Down and up, and around. Three more. Go low. Last one and up. Now we're going to swivel around and around, doing semicircles, around and around. So really stick your glutes to the back, around and around. Stick them out, around and around, around and around. You can keep your knees nice and soft here. I want you to feel your hips opening as you push them to every corner and around. Go for four and around and three and around, two and around, last one and around. Awesome job. Now coming into a nice bent knee position, I want your fingertips together and just slide side to side as you bring your elbows across. So think about having your back up against a wall. So it's not leaning forward or back. You're just going side to side, side to side, okay? Just your waistline. And you're sliding your elbow across in opposition. We're gonna turn this into a single, single double, and we're gonna extend the arm on the double. So go for four, three, two, one, so go single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. So you're pushing away, blowing out, really trying to squeeze that back fat area and that muffin top area. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to come into a warrior position. So I want you to line up the heel of your front foot with the arch of your back foot. And I want you to just come down and up. So you're trying to come down with your weight in the heel of the front leg, keeping the back leg nice and straight, and you're really keeping your body nice and upright here. What we're going to do is start reaching forward and back, forward and back. So now you're leaning your body over that thigh, which means there's even more weight trying to come up. So you're pushing through the heel and you're pushing your whole body back up extending strong through the arms. So this is where you could hold on to some light hand weights if you wanted to. We're gonna add on to this. We're going to add a lunge in. So we're going to twist the back foot into a lunge position and then lunge down. But do four more of this, four, three, really lean into it, two, and one. So we're gonna do one of these, then we're gonna twist our back toe under, come into a lunge, and then back out. Lunge into it sideways, twist with the arms overhead, and then back out. So, find your balance here. Maybe, if you're really wobbling, you can hold on with one hand. But, if you can, try to really pick some focal points and look at them so that you don't wobble too much. Your tummies are in, your arms are long, and you're really trying to sink low in the back leg. You don't have to touch down if you're not ready to do that. Just come to your low point. And still think stretch, think lengthen. Arms are long, fingertips are stretching away. 
three more of these. Over, adjust your stance as you need to. And this is the last one and we're adding on again. So we're starting like this. We're coming into one of these and then we're going to fold over and lift the back leg. Come back into a lunge, open, lunge down, fold forward. Back into a lunge, then swivel your foot and open, back into a lunge and forward. You can hold it for a second in that fold over position so that you can get your balance before going back into that lunge, okay? Squeeze your triceps while you're leaning forward there. So here, arms are up, squeeze your triceps and up. Down first, all the way into that lunge. Don't forget the lunge. And up. Come on, keep going. Adjust your feet when you need to. And one side is always going to wobble more than the other, and that's totally fine. Come on, a few more. Let's go three more like this. Down first, and reach long, lunge, and fold. Down, reach, lunge, and fold. This is the last one. Down, reach, lunge and hold it. Just hold it. Your arms are high, your palms are to the ceiling, your toe is pointed, all the weight is in the front leg, back is flat, neck is in alignment with your spine. Try and hold it a little bit longer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Guess what? Other side, we've got two legs. Exactly the same thing. So you align your heel with your arch and come first of all into that nice warrior two position. So you're leaning into that, your weight is in the heel, really opening up through your inner thigh here and feeling this whole thigh burning. We're gonna add in a reach across, reach across, reach across. Really trying to deepen that. Really putting your weight over that leg and thinking about pushing through the heel to get you up. It's across and up, across and up, deeper. Make sure your stance is really wide here. You don't want a narrow stance. You want to be able to keep your knee from going over that toe. Four more, and then we're adding that lunge. Three, two, and one. So do one of these, then turn your toe under, come down and back out. It's across and back out. Across, arms up. So I'm touching down with my back knee, but you don't need to do that. You can go to your own low point as long as it's challenging. Across and up. Across and up. So I've kept this out of it to make it a little bit more simple. But if you want to keep doing this one, then do it, okay? But I'm focusing more on the legs now and just using my arms for lengthening and for balance and up. So I'm going to do a few more like this, then I'm going to add in that fold over. Across and up. Let's go for three. One and down. Two and lunge. Three and lunge. So start from scratch. It's across, it's down and as you come forward Bring up your leg and your arms. Back into a lunge, back into an open. Back into a lunge, forward, wobbling all the way. Using more muscle fibers, totally fine to wobble. And forward, and lunge, and forward, 
lunge and up lunge forward if you need to you can take out one of the lunges or just keep them really shallow like this okay lunge and up so I'm holding that fold over for a little bit because I'm trying to work on my balance but if you find it too hard to hold it here then just do a really short one and come straight back into that lunge down up let's do a few more like this and then we're going to hold that down and back down really remember to sink deep into these lunges okay you don't want to miss out on the sculpt lunge and back two more down reach down and back last one down reach down and hold it okay so if you need to hold on hold on I'm kind of wobbling everywhere because of this thick pile carpet it's not helping my cause I'm keeping my arms straight my palms are up to the ceiling my tummy's in my other leg is straight and pointed squeezing the glute eight seven six five four three two one awesome job we're just going to come around and around around and around we're just loosening up through those thighs trying to get your oxygen back trying to get the lactic acid out around and around six five four three two one now come into quite a wide stance and it's up to you how low you go here you may not be flexible enough to come all the way down i want your tummy in fold forward and then put your hands by this foot turn your feet out slightly and i want you to slowly start to bend the other leg away it's a tiny bend so we're deepening that stretch now if you can't keep your hands here maybe up here or maybe even bring a chair with the seat of the chair facing and put your hands on the chair okay so you want to keep nice wide stance here and pull away pull away we're going to hold this down in a second just a few more pulses three two one now i want you to widen that even more and hold it down it's really stretching that inner thigh and if you can bring your toes up you can walk it out even further and if you are able to bring your hands closer to this side and actually sit into this side and i'm using my elbow in the side of my thigh to push that leg back as I, as i'm stretching out the inner thigh and hamstring on the other side so i'm really pushing and i'm opening everything all my hips are being opened here keeping my spine flat tummy in and looking down at the mat nice job so coming up again this time open your feet slightly hands are closer to this foot and then just start pulsing away so little stretches getting the body used to that motion before we go into the deeper stretch opening up through your inner thighs maybe come into a wider stance four three two one now hold it down and flex that foot maybe bring your hands closer to the center and only if you're comfortable come down and sit into that heel and use your elbow in that thigh to really press away feeling that all opening that whole area stretching nice job now coming up again and i want you to widen your feet and bounce into your inner thighs now if you can't do that then stay up here and bounce into it but if you can bring your fingertips down if you're more flexible 
then try to do that, but try to keep a nice flat back. A few more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now walk your feet in and either use your elbows to press out here, or if you can, once again, bring your elbows into the inside of your knees and push away and come really low here. So you can press out as far as you want. You can turn your feet out as far as you want. Really opening that up. And now I want you to come into a hamstring stretch from there. So your feet are going to point to the front. And depending on how flexible you are, you might be here. I just want your hamstrings super straight. So however you need to, wherever you need to put your hands to keep them straight, I've got my spine flat. So don't curve down, keep your tummy in, your spine is nice and flat, and you're just coming down to your point of stretch where you really feel the whole back of your legs stretching. Now I want you to lie down and we're going to put the soles of our feet together and then lie back and open up all through our hips. So you find that point, I can get mine quite close to the mat, but if you can't get that close, it might be up here, that's fine, as long as you feel that opening through the hips. You can even push down slightly on those thighs. And then we're going to take that one step further. We're going to bring the leg in and you can hold onto the inside of your ankle or even the inside of your foot and lower that out. So you want to be pushing down on this one, trying to keep that down and then lowering the other side, still opening up through those hips. And then we're going to bring that one in and we're going to do it to the other side, lowering out. Pushing down on the back one. It's going to come up a little bit more. That's understandable, but you're really trying to keep that opening. Now we're going to cross our legs, and if you can, hold on to your feet and pull them into your glutes. This feels really good because it's kind of an opposite stretch. It's now focusing on the outer hips and glute area. And we're just gonna switch that and cross the other way. And once again, just pull those heels into your body. You should especially feel that on the leg that's on top. And then we're going to keep our knees together, open your arms and twist to the back. And then centre and twist to the front and look to the back. And finally, just hold on underneath your knees. Roll up, tap your toes, roll back. Again, up. Let's do a few of these. And back, massaging through the spine. Two more. It's up and back, last one. Now come back up and one last little thing. I just want you to extend your legs if you can. Just hold them there if you can extend your arms. Last little thing, hold your tummy in, breathe. If you need to, just bend wherever you're able to. Last little hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Thanks so much for joining me for Dynamic Flow Sculpt. I hope you felt the burn in some of those exercises, but you definitely should also have felt really lengthened and stretched by the end of the workout. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you at the next segment.